Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about uh, how to choose a set of sport rings for your car. This is probably one of the uh, most asked questions I, I was uh, was asked all the time. So today uh, we're going to I'm going to share some information for you, some knowledge, some te technical terms as well for you guys to understand before you really uh, choose a set of rims, uh, before you go uh, go ahead and change the set of rims for your car. Uh, rim width. So what, what does the rim width mean? Usually when we uh, when we look at the rim spec, we usually look at the, the it, what, what kind of PCD. Uh, first we look at the PCD, second is the rim diameter, the third one is the rim width. So example, a 16 times 7 inches rims. A 7 inches means that the width is 7 inches. Uh, so what does it mean exactly? It's actually what we can do is actually we compare to your original stock rims. For, for this case, let's take a Honda City for example. Honda City rims originally is 16 times 6 inches. So the current original stock rim for a 6 inches rim is 185, 55, 16. Let's say today I'm going to fit in a set of 16 times 7. Can I still fit in a, a 185, 55, 16 onto the, the rims? Uh, the short answer is yes. but. It won't look nice because the rims gonna stretch out the tires, so it doesn't look as nice as you want it to be. So what usually we recommend for seven inches rims is actually to use a wider tires. Means that we can use either 195 or 205, 55, uh, 50, 16 for the Honda City. So the uh, so ultimately, the wider the rims, we can accommodate a wider tires. So rim width is actually quite important as, uh, for us to understand is that so that we can know what kind of tires to fit onto the car. Usually we want to go slightly wider than the original stock rims. Uh, I think the, the ultimate beneficial is actually to increase the car's stability. Original stock uh, cars usually give you <coughs> less wider rims. Uh, for example, 16 times 6 inches for uh, Honda City. So 16 times 6 inches, uh, we're only able to accommodate 185 tires. So this is actually very good in terms of uh, saving a lot of fuels because you have less uh, tires to touch the ground. So uh, cars like Honda or Toyota, they actually right now, they are actually fighting a lot of uh, in terms of fuel consumption. So they will try to give you less wider tires in order to give you a better fuel consumption. So it means that uh, less, lesser, lesser touching surface, less rolling resistance means that your car can go even further uh, with the tank of fuel. So, but when we change sport rims, we like to go wider. Uh, one is this actually to increase the stability. For example, if you're driving Honda City, I was a lot, a lot of my client actually tell me that when they go, I mean, when they travel the time, uh, example, a, a, a lorry uh, just passed by them, the car will feel very, very shaky. I think, I think this is actually got a lot to do with the, the current original tyres. Tires. 1 in 5 is not enough to, to give you the stability. So when we change sport rims, we go for, for example, we go for a 16, uh, equally 16 inches rim, but we go for slightly wider tyres. So we can go for 205, 50, 16 onto the car, increasing by 1 in 5 to 205, increasing by 2, C, uh, 2 cm wide. So uh, I, once, you, once you have this kind of setting, your car will be so much easier to drive. So, so much easier to drive, so much stability. Okay, so another question which I was asked quite often is that how to choose the right width for my car. Uh, usually, I, I would suggest that look at the stock rims. What's your current uh, stock rims? Usually, I recommend just one inch wider than the current, uh, current rims. For example, like just now, I, I, I used uh, Honda City. Original rims are 16 times 6, so I recommend 16 times 7, I think it's a max. You can go, of course, uh, 16 times 7.5, means 7.5 width or even 8 inches width. Yes, you can. But it's what you're going to do, the, the wider it is, the rim is going to stick out from the body. So it means that you got a lot of, uh, you, you probably don't want your car to have the rim sticking out from the, from the car body. So this will cause a few issues. One issue is that when you travel, it does touch a lot of your fender. So it, it, it won't go and dry. It won't. It won't dry nice, and uh, it won't dry good. <coughs> Another thing is that it, it doesn't look nice. It looks very funny. I I, I sincerely I really don't like rims sticking out uh, from uh, your, your the car, uh, unless your car is a is a four x four is a is a truck car. I think it, it makes very uh, it makes a lot of sense to them. But if your car is uh, maybe a Honda City, if you if you have rims sticking out, it it, it looks funny. 
So I would suggest that um, stick just 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 maximum just go one inches be uh, wider than the original rims. Uh, means that like, like the Honda City K sixteen times six go for sixteen times seven. I think that's the best thing that you can do. So try to not go overboard. Means that if the rims, uh, if your stock rims is sixteen times six, uh, or maybe eighteen times eight inches or 18 times uh, 7.5 inches, go for just one inch wider than the original story that we do. Example, uh, let's maybe, uh, uh, maybe a Honda, like just now we use Honda City, uh, 16 times 6 inches, go for 16 times 7, or 17 times 7, or 17 times 7.5. So the original stock is 18 times 7.5, so from 18 to 7.5, we can go 18 times 8, or 18.8.5. Yes, this one I would think I think is quite a general rule that applies to all the car. But some cars you usually uh, some cars actually can go even wider than the original size. Uh, for what I can think, maybe uh, a BMW, a BMW, a five series. The original rims are eighteen times eight. Of course, we can go eighteen times eight point five or nine point five. They can go even wider because the car can because the car is big. So uh, I hope that you find this uh, this video very ed educational. So uh, subscribe to us, please leave us uh, questions, uh, some comment, if you like it, uh, if you like our video, please subscribe to us, I will see you next time.